Hello, my name is Jerry Wise. I'm a relationship expert from the Center for Self-Differentiation in Carmel, Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. And this video is entitled, My Shell Keeps Me Safe But Not Happy. This video is about those of us who have experienced being walled up. We have shells around us, emotional shells around us, or as I've called it, being fortressed. We kind of live inside a fortress. Nobody gets in, and I don't get out. And the shell around us keeps us safe, but it doesn't keep us very happy. Many of us have lived through very difficult childhoods, growing up in dysfunctional families, whether they be workaholic families, hyper or toxic religious families, shaming families, hypercritical families, uh, love-hungry families, abusive families. Uh, many have been hurt, left, cheated on, lied to, emotionally abused, physically abused, sexually abused, manipulated, abandoned, rejected, rejected or in shamed. When we were children, we were innocent, trusting, dependent, needing nurture, love, acceptance, care, and safety. Many did not receive these important building blocks of life. So we end up cynical, untrusting, hyper-vigilant, overprotective of ourselves, uh, defensive, scared, and like the turtle, we pull our head inside our shell at any sign of conflict, intimacy problems, vulnerability, or perceived mistreatment. And all of these things from others. And we see the world not as a safe place. Then we begin to explore relationships and we end up like what, what I would call porcupines with our pines raising up and sticking out any time we get close to someone. Even someone that matters to us. It could be husband, fiance, family member, friends almost anyone. Or to use a mother, an, another metaphor, we build a fortress around our hearts and ourselves when it comes to others. We have few windows and the drawbridge is always closed. We might be friendly, uh, even caring, and for many of us very codependent. For some it could be counter-dependency. We know, we know we never let that guard down and that we know that relationships are not a safe place for me. Even a committed marital relationship is not a safe place for me. Again, none of us were like this at birth. This was something we learned. We were born worthy, lovable, precious, special people. And we found that life and family of origin life taught us many negative things about the world and about ourselves. Living in our shell, we block out all the pain and incoming arrows from others. By holding up in our fortress and emotionally living in our shells like a turtle, while the fortified self is protected or protective, it also has a double edge. It also prevents us from receiving love, receiving acceptance, receiving feeling special, uh, and receiving intimacy and, and real love. These things just can't get in. People ask me, how do I find someone right for me, Jerry? 
How do I have a healthy marriage? How do I learn to love someone in a healthy way? I ask them, well, how well do you receive love? Can you let love in? And often the answer is no. The natural design for us is this. We first let love in and get love in and then we are able to give love to others. And then we have a free flowing of receiving love and giving love. Receiving love and giving love. And that's kind of the natural order of things. But most reverse the process and spend their lives hunting and searching for someone to give their love to and to find someone who will give them love, but we have no way to let it in. And then wonder why marriage or relationships don't work out. So how do we break this shell? How do we bring the walls down of our fortress? And how do we open the windows and doors and let love in and send our love out? So how do we break that shell? Well, I'm going to share a few things with you in this video. It's not an exhaustive list and there are many more things to share. But at least briefly, I want to share a few things that might help you in breaking the shell. First of all, we move from historical, which means our child of origin and all the things in the past that are still within us, that historical, reactive, or regressive, going back, defensive protection, or that shell, which is very unconscious. It's, it's done automatically. And we move from that historical protection to a healthy present self-care, intentional self-boundaries, and self-respect, and a healthy defense of ourselves as adults. Many of us have not learned that. We've only learned the old regressive, reactive, defensive self that we use in our adult relationships and not an intentional, mature self-care. So learning and growing into a mature self-care is very important. It helps us give up the historical unconscious, regressive self-care or shell that we have developed. Second of all, we need to or begin to, to reduce our neediness and our oversensitivity. Many of us have learned a very hypersensitivity towards others and towards life and um, coaching or therapy for building a thicker skin is very important. As, as healthy adults mature into adulthood they find they have a healthier um, self, uh, a, a healthier thicker skin and so they have reduced their dependency needs. Or, for example, the belief that someday I'll find someone who will love me in ways I don't love myself. That's a very immature dependency needs approach. In other words, I don't love myself, but I'm going to find somebody who will overcome that by loving me in ways I don't even love myself. Well, you can see the inherent problems with that. And so relationships go round and round in circles. And in fact, it's a non-achievable goal. Or for example, um, coming to believe that I'm not me without you. And of course, this has a lot of inherent problems in it. Because if I'm not me, how am I ever going to have healthy relationships with someone else? I think another way in which we can break the shell is becoming an authentic self. This is not easy and it takes practice and it takes insight to do this. The process of reducing being and performing the family roles that, we've, that we found ourselves stuck in, and in fact many are stuck in as adults, and also the roles we play uh, that are expected or we believe are expected by others. And so we end up being kind of an inauthentic self 
trying to get love and trying to get accepted. So we play all these roles and we don't end up being authentically us and feel strong or confident in that substantial sense of self which we don't have and learning to do that becoming more of an authentic self and becoming more true selves we find that we need the shell less and less and as most of you have probably realized we have grown up or were taught not to be ourselves that's something that's very common additionally healing our thinking our thoughts and our beliefs we have lots of unhealthy thoughts and beliefs about ourselves and so this keeps us from being truly ourselves healing our emotions uh, correcting or healing our emotional history the thought of going home to go beyond home going back and healing our childhood so we can move on to be adults if you don't if you don't heal your childhood it's hard to be an adult it's hard to be mature because you won't know yourself well you won't have insight into yourself another way to begin to break that shell is to start looking at the high price of the shell itself in some ways it doesn't really protect us we just believe it protects us it really is an echo chamber of our past pain in other words we stay holed up in the shell like the turtle but then we find that the pain just bounces around inside of it and we really don't connect with others in a very healthy way so it is very much an echo chamber and I think it's possible for us begin to begin to get insight into that echo chamber and begin to live without the shell. I think another way to begin to break through the shell is to unlearn the family of origin within you. For example, if you had learned this growing up, that when I truly am my authentic self, when I am being me, or when I express my wants, needs, desires, and I found that they were belittled, shamed, and it produces anger or irritability or rejection from others, then that feedback loop created some real difficulties for me and I learn not to be a true self and my self differentiation level then ends up being very low and I carry this throughout my life and so I have a low sense of self and not a very solid sense of self so the and then also I, I learn to create a shell around me and carry a shell around me for protection and so a part of re of healing the shell is unlearning this so that I begin to express my true wants desires needs and healthy boundaries and having a healthy sense of a uh, boundary for myself I find that others will feel less anxious others have an opportunity to connect with me through that knowledge uh, and through my knowledge of myself because that is a way to connect with other people having insight into yourself having a comfortable sense of self when I express my true wants and needs and am my true self an authentic self a real me others will increase their respect for me they will trust my more solid sense of self in the relationship and others will feel they can move in closer to me because they can be assured it is the real me and can trust the real me 
that inauthentic self attracts others who are fearful and inauthentic themselves. The more authentic a self you are, the more it attracts more authentic selves or selves of others. There are certainly more ways to crack the shell and heal ourselves so the shell is not necessary. In this short video, it doesn't allow me to go into a lot of detail about that. If you feel you live in a shell and can't get out, I hope you'll contact me. You can see my contact information uh, on the screen. I'd be happy to help you. If you want to set up coaching uh, and professional help with me, please give me a call or contact me via my email. I hope you will join our YouTube channel. I hope you'll share our videos on your, on your social media. I do in-office and online coaching with you. I want to thank you for watching the video today and hope you have a great day.